Hello everybody, Curious Corduroy here, and uh, I don't have a hat on because of the video that I'm gonna do kind of requires me to not wear a hat. I don't know what's going on with my hair right now. It's just kind of falling forward, almost kind of like emo Peter Parker from Spider-Man 3. I don't know what it is. I need a haircut and I feel so naked without a hat on. There's a reason for that. And um, as you know, I'm a huge fan of the show Arrow. Very soon, season four of Arrow will start up and I'm very excited. If you've kept up with anything Arrow related, then you know that's the actor Stephen Amell. His character Oliver Queen is getting a brand new Arrow suit. The new suit looks awesome. It looks badass. It looks cool. Um, it's a lot closer to the comic version of Green Arrow, but I thought it would be cool to kind of, I don't know, take a look back at the old suit, which I happen to have. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a cool video uh, just basically going over the original Arrow suit. Uh, kind of like a tribute, I guess, to the new suit because we won't be seeing this one anymore which does suck because I really did like this suit but I'm excited for the new one this is gonna be the video it's not really an unboxing because I've had this suit for quite a while I wore it to a convention uh, which I'll talk more about later but yeah I guess we'll just go piece by piece through the suit because there's a few different components that go to it and uh, let's get started with my hair I don't know what's up with my hair first off and probably most importantly we have the actual jacket as you can see this is the Aero jacket. It's actually really, really comfortable. I, I bought this online on Amazon. Um, I sent my measurements into the person who was making it. Uh, the only downside is the suit is a little bit baggy. Um, I'm pretty sure I did my measurements accurately, but the jacket is a little bit big. The pants are much bigger. Uh, I actually have to wear a belt with the pants, unfortunately. So uh, that's the only downside, but this is actually two pieces. This is the, the front and the back of the jacket, and this hood part actually does come off. You can see right here, there's these little snap things. Uh, if you want to just wear the jacket without the hood, you can literally do that. You can just unsnap these, uh, take the hood off, and then you've pretty much got a pretty comfortable jacket. Next, we have the pants, which I, I mentioned before are unfortunately too big for me and much baggier than I expected them to be. You can tell right here they look really huge. I'm not normally this big of a person. Now the attention to detail on the suit is actually really 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 good. Like I remember looking at the suit extensively before buying it and I was kind of worried because I was like is this gonna look anything like the actual you know suit on the show and it's pretty damn close to being similar to the one that was used on the show. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna put the whole suit on so you can kind of see what it looks like on me. Next we have the gloves. Now, there were some people who bought the suit and I guess they didn't care for the gloves that came with it, so they bought their own tactical kind of gloves. I had no issue with these gloves at all. They were actually really comfortable. They are one size fits all gloves. Uh, and you can see right here, they're slip on their Velcro actually, uh, with the Velcro strap right there. So it fits literally like a glove, strap it in and boom, you're good, you're set. Um, these are very comfortable. Uh, so it was really nice to wear these. Uh, I primarily wore the suit for a convention. Uh, C2E2 was the convention and I had these on for a very long time. I had the whole outfit on for a very long time and uh, it was actually really breathable. The whole thing, the gloves, the jacket, the pants, um, there wasn't really a moment where I got uncomfortably hot, which was nice. It uh, almost kind of felt like pajamas, wearing pajamas, so. And uh, I thought these were really, bam, 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 awesome. Up next is going to be the Oliver Queen side pouch, which if you've seen on the show, on occasion, Oliver will reach to his lower right side around his thigh, and he will grab an arrow if he needs to use it, and he will throw it. Uh, and I actually made these arrows myself. I'll just show you the arrows when I show you the quiver because these are just a few that I threw in here just for looks. Also, we have the gauntlet portion of the outfit which goes on the left arm. This is where it's gonna go and this is where it sits. These are just little, uh, I don't know what you would call these things, little clip thingies. Where you just, it's like a seat belt where you push it in and you it just goes in like this and boom. Stay secure on your arm. You can actually tighten it or loosen it however you like with these straps. I made these little small arrows to go on the gauntlet portion uh, of the suit. Uh, this was very easy to make, uh, a little time consuming, but pretty much fun. Uh, so I'll get to the arrows next when I show you the quiver, which is right here. The quiver itself was actually my least favorite part of the suit. I actually did consider going out and buying my own quiver. This one's really flimsy, unfortunately. Uh, it's kind of confusing to put on, so I, every time I wear it, I actually have to have help not only strapping it over the jacket and my back, uh, but I also need help clipping it onto the back because 
there's a very small portion uh, right here actually, which will clip onto the jacket to stay on. So it's, it's not the best quiver. For what I was using it for, I guess I really didn't need a professional quiver. It would have been nice to just throw one on over the shoulder and not have to worry about losing it. Um, because this eventually did get really kind of just slouchy and there were a couple occasions where it was just actually hanging off of my jacket and if I wasn't paying attention I probably could have lost it and wouldn't have even noticed. On the inside I just filled it up with this little styrofoam thing uh, just so that way my arrows would stay in place. These of course these aren't true to size arrows. I couldn't find dowels that were big enough or that would fit in here so I just went with what I could find. I found these on Amazon. These were actually just wooden dowels that were pretty plain so I bought some green slash black paint and I spent one afternoon just sat down and started painting the dowels. Uh, I did trim some of them just a bit um, but I, I wanted them to look close enough to the ones that were on the show which uh, were kind of like a darker green color but I thought the black looked really nice, so I just stuck with like a blackish kind of green for the dowels. And then I bought like these just little uh, tips on the end, these feathers. Uh, I believe they're called fletches. I bought these. I was going to paint these, but it was a bitch to sit down and try and paint all of these. And then uh, the paint just was not cooperating with the fletches, and it was rubbing off, and it wasn't staying thick. So I just figured, fuck it. I'm going to leave the fletches the way they are. I don't think anybody really minded. The last thing would basically be the boots. I have right sure. Now, uh, the costume didn't come with boots. Uh, you can buy those separately, and they actually do make the cosplay version of the Oliver Queen boot. But I have a wide foot, which sucks, because that means I can't wear a lot of really awesome or cool shoes. And I don't think the cosplay boot was available in a wide width. So, what I did to compensate was I went on Amazon, and I found a boot that looked similar to the Oliver Queen boot. And I just bought those because they came in wide. So right here I just have a pair of Magnum, I guess you can call these combat boots. From what I remember on the website, apparently police officers wear these. Ah oh, yeah, see there's a, even a little thingy right here. Valid in the US of A, take the Magnum challenge and find out why Magnum is the world's leader in uniform footwear. Now I'm not being sponsored by Magnum, but again, I would totally take a sponsorship from them because these were actually really, really comfortable. As you can see, that's a police officer and another police officer who I think is chasing a criminal. There might be blood on the wall. These boots were actually, um, I was worried about being in boots all day because uh, I have a lot of feet issues, but I am happy to report that these were very comfortable and they're almost similar kind of to the Oliver Queen boot. His has more of a, a top part that comes down and folds over, but I figured too many people probably weren't gonna be paying attention to my feet. And these were the pretty much the best option that I could find, again, they are extremely comfortable. I was in these for four plus hours, uh, I think like on one day. But they looked awesome with the suit. Very comfortable, not too heavy, and uh, they fit just right. So that is basically all the components for the suit. Uh, hopefully I did a good job explaining each part. I'm not the best at explaining things. Uh, I get kind of tongue-twied. I get tongue-twied. And I'm, I don't know, I'm, I just, that was that. So I'm gonna put the suit on now, and hopefully I don't look like too big of an idiot. So let's get started with this montage of outfit putting on things. What? As you can see, I have the whole outfit on right now. Uh, the only one piece, well, two pieces that I did not have were an actual bow. Um, I used the toy bow uh, that came with the Oliver Queen set online. You can find that on Amazon. It's a really cheaply made toy bow. Comes with one arrow. Not the greatest thing ever, and it's like a toy size, but that was the only thing I had. So that's what I used as the bow. And of course, I don't have the uh, eye mask on. So what my sister actually did for me when I went to the convention, I don't know why I'm talking with my hands so much. Uh, she actually took some makeup. She took some black and green makeup and kind of smudged it around my eye area. 
to uh, kind of give me the look of Oliver had in season one. Um, so that was pretty cool. I'm gonna try and get a really wide shot if I can. Up close, this is what the jacket looks like on me. Fits okay. Gloves are on, this is on. There's the back look to it. So this is basically the costume. Hello. As you can see, the pants are just a little bit baggy. I would have liked them like super tight, like how they are in the show. Maybe it would have been more comfortable. And then I got the boots on right here, which again, they're not the most accurate of boots, but I thought they looked really cool. So that's how they are. I just tucked the pants into the boots. Imagine that in your face. That would hurt. That's pretty much the suit. It's kind of difficult to get a really nice view of me in the suit. I don't have the greatest setup here. <laughs> that is the video. This is the suit. I'm out of breath. Putting this thing on. It's kind of a nightmare sometimes. So that's me. I will see you guys later and I can't wait for season four of Arrow. I gotta buy that new suit.